you please welcome the reigning world champion of card magic, Mr. Sean Farquhar. Thank you so much for that warm welcome. It's a real pleasure to come across the pond to share with you one of my magic tricks. I'm going to do a card trick, uh, but it's a special one, and it's going to use a brand new deck of cards. Penn, would you mind helping me? I'll, I'll, I'll try. Ladies and gentlemen, Penn Gillette, please okay. come and join me. Thank you, sir. I would have picked Keller, but I think the conversation might have been very one-sided. <laughs> <laughs> I have a brand new deck of cards, hermetically sealed. Inside of this deck of cards is the little paper seal. It says mm -hmm. United States Playing Card Company. It, sure does. it confirms that it's a brand new deck of cards. And not Canadian. That's true. Look, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> not much is. Look, I'm gonna pop it open. Inside a brand new deck of cards, never touched by human hands. Would you cup your hands together like that for me? I'm gonna drop the cards on your hand. Now I know you know cards, but they don't. I just want to point out that if you look at the brand new deck, there are two premium cards here. Right. These, uh, they're advertised things. The other end of the deck has uh, two jokers. Uh, one is like the traditional one, and the other is like a guaranteed joker. Uh, we're not going to use those, but we're going to keep the one joker in. Okay. Can you kind of fan them out so the audience can see what New Deck Corridor looks like? You can see it runs ace through king. See the two kings in the middle, folks? These are what we call the kissing kings. I call them the broke back kings. <laughs> so, do me a favor and shuffle up the cards. When you feel they're completely shuffled, they'll let me know. I believe Percy Diaconis said you have to do 12 shuffles. Absolutely. Say, but I'm, I'll just do uh, four or five. I believe that's okay. We'll give them a cut and we'll let you see the bottom. Who is you do me a favor? Touch a card on the back. Just okay. kind of plunk your finger. Take a look at it. I it's see. all right if I see it. I've seen this trick before. Okay. What card did you get? No, I got it's one of my favorites. I got the seven of dimes. Seriously? Yes, you could not have picked a more perfect card. Write your name right on the face of the card. I will. Perfect. Once the card's been signed, we'll recap. Okay. That's the pen. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's the joke. If I do a favor, <laughs> just explaining to everybody else. Would you hold your hand just flat like that? I certainly will. I'll place the cards here. Place your other hand on top, sure. trapping the cards in between. I will. Bet. Fully and effectively, and I'll remove one card. Okay. If I removed your card, would that be impressive? That would be very impressive. No, it wouldn't. I got a joker. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. How about this? I can do better than that. Okay. If I could reach in between your hands and straighten one card up, uh -huh. so it's the opposite direction, and it was your card, the seven of diamonds. Would that be? That'd be pretty good. Okay, I can do better. How about this? Would I fool you if I were to put those cards back in new deck order and put the one card reversed? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Okay, I'm not about... gonna say you're gonna fool me. I won't say that yet. But, but good, okay. good, good. How about, how about if I took the cards and put them in new deck order, reversed the one card, put them in the cardboard box, put the paper seal and wrap them up in the plastic? Oh, that would be a fine trick. <laughs> I just did it. Take a look. It's a brand new deck of cards. Are the closest. I want you to see. Is there a cutter slit in the top of the box? There is not. Cutter slit in the bottom of the box? No. Not that I can see. How about the side? Not that I can see. The other side? Not that I can see. Top or back? Nope. It's a brand new deck of cards. I believe so. I'm yeah. going to pop this open. Inside, there is a paper seal. It says United States Playing Card Company. Not Canadian. Deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu. Sometimes it takes four. Look, I'm going to pop open the paper seal. Inside, a brand new deck of cards. Never touched by human hands. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I remember You've it from last card. time. Yeah, yeah. I want to point something out. If you look at the deck, there isn't a premium card on the end. Do you know why? Why is that? They're in my pocket, remember? Mm -hmm. Get them out. There's a lot of them. There's the jokers and the premium card. Mm -hmm. All of them are in here. That means that this should be a new deck order deck. Take a look and see if they run ace through king. Oh, maybe you could turn this way so the I camera can see. Could. That, that, someone who was a professional in show business would have done that automatically. <laughs> now, when you get to the diamonds, do you notice one card is I do. reversed? Between the eight and the six of diamonds. Would be where the seven exactly should be. where my selected card should be. And would you like me to remove it to make it easier for you? Uh, I'll I, just kind of pull it like that okay, lightly sure. and turn it around like that so you can see. <laughs> Okay, so I know you're not going to tell us how you did it, but that was unique. Does it's anyone else do that? It's my job. But then, does anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, you can't share. But does anyone else do that particular technique? No, there know? was uh, not, not the similar technique. The same effect was a gentleman by the name of George Schindler many years ago, now the Dean of American Magicians. He inspired me, but I came up with a completely different method. And that will be uh, the key, I guess, this evening to fool those guys. If it's sure. a new method and they haven't seen it before and they can't put their finger on it, we'll get away with it. And by, by we, I mean you, of course, although I'd like some of the reflected glory. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. I'll share. <laughs> and is that one of the most technically difficult ones in your, in your routine to do? It is, in fact, not the most technically difficult, uh, but it's probably the most fun to present because most of it takes place in the spectator's hands. And yeah. I think magic that takes place in somebody else's hands is so much more powerful That's than magic what, that takes place in our own. That's what I tell my wife all the time. That's right. <laughs> Learning some tricks. Oh, that's all it is. I think we have given you enough time. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a really, really tough call for us. I think anybody has to know that at some point you had to do a deck switch. Unfortunately, there was uh, a moment when uh, we both saw it, when you were pulling the pen out. Yes. And we had all these discussions and meetings about this, which we've talked for hours with the producers about what would constitute fooling us. We said over and over again, if we actually saw a move, it would negate the whole thing. But all that having been said, and the feeling that we saw a move that we should not have seen, we have no idea how you got the goddamn call. <laughs> Someone who just God loves to film magic done. I have no was. idea how we got there. <laughs> 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 Son of a gun. Can I, ask you to, can I ask you to make us one promise? What's that? Never tell them. I will. <laughs> no, 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 no. Never <laughs> tell them. Sean Farquhar, ladies and gentlemen, he's born. <laughs>